Let's move to RBS, which has been looking at the Asia-Pacific region in a big way, and its APAC international banking boss, Madan Menon, in India, seems to be quite bullish on the market environment and says there are opportunities that can allow many investors to make some serious money, including in the offshore bond markets. That said, the bank in India, RBS, is still stuck with its process of selling the retail assets to HSBC. RBS's boss, Madan Menon, for Asia-Pacific, discusses all these key issues. My sense is, one, I'm an integral part of that process, as you'd expect, but more importantly, RBS is uh, strongly aligned to, fully engaged with, uh, and is a robust corporate citizen in terms of working with our regulators. Uh, as and when the regulator asks us, defines a framework, seeks for us to make the changes, we will necessarily have to do so. There's not another question of optionality. It has to be done. Quite a few clients, Shelley, four or five years ago, perhaps went out and raised funding in the capital markets through convertible bonds, uh, and arguably should not have. Yeah. A convertible bond is not free equity. A convertible bond must make sense to the underlying financing needs of your balance sheet, of your own financial planning, but more importantly has to be strategic to your company or business's growth. The statistic window to my mind, and certainly in RBS's view, is that there remains significant liquidity available to corporate, bank, FI and public sector risk in the offshore bond markets. Uh, it does make, arguably, it does make sense, and we certainly when we are in advanced dialogue with a number of companies, banks, etc., who will look to take advantage of a market event that gives them access to a short-term window at economically efficient pricing.